vitamin is D3. Uh, so let's talk about uh, potassium, making sure we have enough potassium daily. Yeah, potassium, you, your, your body needs like 4,000 milligrams a day, which is like a lot. Um, and it's hard to eat enough, uh, for instance, salads to get enough. So it's, and the FDA only will let you, uh, let the producers uh, capsule 99 milligrams in one pill. So you can imagine how many of those you need to swallow a day, but uh, it's, it's hard to do. So basically, if you feel a little bit tired, weak, or if you've been sweating a lot, or if you get leg cramps, et cetera, et cetera, then pop a bunch of potassium to get your body back up to its uh, required state. Uh, and uh, magnesium goes along with that also. Uh, body requires a lot of magnesium and uh, it uh, it's in balance with calcium. P potassium is in balance with salt. Uh, you have too much salt in your system, take more potassium. Likewise, if you have too much potassium, uh, eat more salt. And uh, I don't recommend calcium uh, uh, supplements at all, especially calcium. Uh, uh, I think it's calcium caltrate. Uh, it's simply rock carbonate. I'm sorry, calcium carbonate. Do not consume. It's it's rock. It it will uh, sliver your vessels, cut them, get stuck in certain places, and so uh, I think. Uh, stay, you'll consume enough calcium in your salads and veggies. And uh, so calcium contracts, contracts your heart and your muscles and magnesium relaxes your heart and muscles. So those, ha those are in balance. Uh, if you, if you sweat a lot and consume a lot of coffee, I mean a lot of coffee, uh, and other diuretics, you can deplete man magnesium. Uh, magnesium in the best form is either the malate or glutinate form. And uh, magnesium helps you also sleep, relaxes you. So if you're having a little bit of trouble sleeping, sometimes it do good to, uh, might help you if you take magnesium before you go to bed. Uh, this is killer information. Thank well, you. It's just stuff I picked up over the years. Shout out to Bit Finesse, uh, Belly Hex, Facing Reality, and Inviting Freedom. I see y'all in the comments. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about zinc. Oh yeah, and this is this is my dad, by the way. And dad, don't say any personal information. <laughs> Because your grandkids, your your great great grandchildren, could be affected. What's up, Marcavelli? I've always wanted to be an alchemist, so here I am, uh, alchemist apprentice. Yeah, zinc is is absolutely required. It it your immune system. You know, you probably picked up on this with the. COVID outbreak, uh, zinc is totally required when you to for your immune system. If you don't have zinc, you'll probably more likely get sick <laughs> from anything. Uh, you know, the daily required dosage is 15 milligrams, but you can take whatever the dose, 50 or 60 in your body will rid the remainder, uh, will store uh, some of it uh but uh won't store very much most of the zinc is excreted uh after about 15 milligrams uh totally re required for your 
thymus function for for disease. So yeah, I recommend taking zinc. It may be in your if you take trace mineral supplements, it may be in there. Uh, so you're probably covered if you take a trace mineral supplement. But yeah, zinc is very important. Dad, we have a question in the comment from Inviting Freedom. Do you put uh, Moringa powder in anything? Moringa uh, is the African uh, plant that, um, or actually it might be Asian that's uh, leafy green. It dies back in the winter around here. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not. I'm not familiar with it, so I have to plead. So that would be uh, similar to spirulina, but maybe it has different vitamins. <clears throat> awesome. Um, also, here I've got some seaweed powder. I don't know how to pronounce that. Dulce, dulce. You familiar with these things? Fresh. I mean, fresh. Dulce in oh, Spanish. Okay. Well, is that right? I think it's Japanese. Oh, this brand. Okay. okay. Oh, could I jump back to vitamin B? Yes, of course. Uh, nutritional yeast is really the best form of the vitamin B complex. Uh, nutritionally, yeast, just mix it in your food or put it in water and stir. Uh, that way, you don't have to worry about taking a supplement that may or may not be synthetic. Uh, but the B12 part of it, I think, is still best found in uh, red meat or chicken. Hey, Mark Avelli, you said that magnesium was, um, your body told you you needed magnesium a couple months ago. How did that go about? Uh, I have added... Axis Alive to the audio only, and Daraj is still sitting at audio only right now. Just FYI, and I don't have a headset, so uh, this man will hear you. What's going on, everybody? Hello. Hey. What we, I heard a little bit about vitamin B before I stopped in here. Uh, yeah, vitamin B just just from my research and my experience is best absorbed in nutritional yeast powder. So sprinkle some of that on your, in your food or salads or mix it in water. Uh, so many of the vitamin supplement, vitamin B complex supplements are synthetic and uh, might be doing more damage than good if you consume those. And, and again, B12, it's best found in meat, red meat, organ meats, chicken. Uh, and if you're a vegan, you know, then can, then definitely take a supplement of some sort. The, the methyl B12 is the sublingual methyl B12 is the best supplement if you're uh, deficient of B12 or you're a vegan. And you or you know, if you need to catch up on your B12. Uh, but uh, again, nutritional yeast for everyone else is the best, I think the best source. What do you know about um uh let's see, Finn Bear says that he's not gonna be able to join us. And hey Marianne, Marion, thanks for being here. I just pulled up the chat, um, guys, so I can see it. And then Belly Hex says, uh, thanks for sharing your wisdom. Oh, Senor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just, uh, it's just, uh, it's just research that, uh, I've been doing for quite a while and, uh, just, just experimenting with my bod, so to speak. Um, you can say spaceship <laughs> with your, with your ship. <laughs> and, uh, Let's see, another vitamin, vitamin A, uh, if you, uh, vitamin, A's, uh, vitamin A is crucial for your eyes and helps with your hair and skin also, and fingernails, toenails. Uh, vitamin do you know A. About, do you know anything about CMOS? I know I hate to cut you off. 
uh, seaweed and sea moss uh, full of uh, trace minerals, iodine, uh, selenium, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if you, you know, if you like the taste of uh, seaweed, uh, great, you know, it's, uh, and if you don't, if you're, if you shy away from uh, shellfish, if you, if you're, if you can't eat shellfish, you know, oysters, uh, shrimp, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you get tons of selenium, zinc. I think like a lot of the people that you're talking to right now in the chat are probably people that are more, um, uh, con health conscious uh, and health minded. Take any omega three six nine. Yeah, let me let me finish vitamin oh, A right my quick. Bad, my bad. All right, all yeah, right. vitamin A. Uh, you know, if you eat a bunch of carrots, your liver beta carotene, your liver has to transform that to vitamin A to be used. Mm -hmm. So, carrots are good for vitamin A, but the best I think is uh, cod liver oil. I don't mm -hmm. like cod liver oil, so I take it in a capsule one a day. Okay. And uh, that sort of takes care of that. That's kind of uh, where I'm at with that, too, is I'm, I'm, uh, I haven't tried I think, it yet, but I'm looking to do that. I think things like um, sardines are also good for not only vitamin A, but for omega-3. But I don't like sardines. <laughs> so I take the vitamin A. Capsule. I can't get into the. I don't like fishy taste of things either. Like, but I do want the. I do want the function of it. Hey, Mark, you know, I man, want I just function. placed.